Hi, I'm David, this is Joe, and here's our review for Spoderman PS4. Hell yeah. So you mm -hmm. played this game all mm -hmm. the way through. Yep. I played Spider-Man 2 on PS, Xbox One. Right. So David hasn't played this game. Um, I bought it day one, or well, I got it the day before it came out. Local GameStop pre-ordered it. Let us know what you think. So, first impression. Oh man, what it you just got? it just makes you feel like Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, no. it just makes you feel so much like Spider-Man. I love this game a lot. I'll give it a two out of six. <laughs> no, just oh, kidding. No. I've been seeing a lot of reviews for this game that, that say you know, it makes you feel like Spider-Man. No duh. If it, did, <laughs> if it didn't make you feel like Spider-Man, then the game already failed. The game doesn't fail. This game's great. Um, I think, um, but there was a there was a big controversy going into this game, Puddle Gate, for Spider-Man. People thought that this game was was gonna be downgraded from the original trailer a couple years ago. No. This game looks fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've at least seen it. I've seen enough of it to to know that this is it doesn't look like a downgrade at all. It's better than any anything Spider-Man related we've seen on a console. Yeah. This Blows is, everything this else. It's one of the best looking games in this console. Other than, like, I mean, God of War, Last of Us, those both look great. Um, but Final this, Fantasy 15. Final Fantasy 15 looks amazing. This, but this, this goes is right, right, right up, up yeah, there. Yeah. Right up there with them. And <coughs> I think it's impossible not to compare this game to the Arkham series. Everybody's done it. And there's really not a reason not to. <laughs> like, I've played Arkham Knight, I love that game. And it seems like Insomniac literally played Arkham Knight, played through the whole game, and said, hmm, we'll do that game, we'll do it better, and we'll do it with Spider-Man. Hmm. Because and did they? They did. They did, they did it All better. Right. And that was the biggest question for me, because I loved Arkham Knight. I figured this game was going to be similar to it. And to me, it's better than Arkham Knight. For a few reasons, and I'll tell you what. So first, just personally, Spider-Man's my favorite superhero of all time. I've liked him since I was a kid, dressed up like him for Halloween and all that. Huge Spidey fan. But, you know, I didn't go into this game just being like, oh, it's going to be better because it's Spider-Man. I love the Batman. Not because I love the Batman, but because the games were so good. And this game, it's, it's better than it for a few reasons. I think one of the big reasons is the world. Batman, for a purpose, but it was very dark. The whole game is... You know, super dark, you're in the shadows, and the streets are empty in every game. The first game, you're pretty much alone in the prison, except for the inmates. The second game, you're in a city, but Joker's goons have taken over the city. So it's just Joker's goons. The third game, everybody gets evacuated from the city, except for the villains. And they do that because, I think, of the limitations that they had. No. They couldn't populate the city with NPCs, because that'd just be too much. And so, you don't really feel like you're saving anyone. You know, you're Batman, and you're taking out all these villains, but you're like, there's like no one in the city. You're not really saving many people. It doesn't make you feel as good. Whereas in this one, you feel like what, you're right amongst the people. Oh yeah. Here. And, you, and you've seen me play a, like a, probably like an hour of this game. <coughs> and the city is populated. New York, yeah. Manhattan. You, you play, you know, you get to play through all of Manhattan. And there's just NPCs everywhere. You hit the ground, they're all walking by, they, they notice you, they're like, hey Spider-Man, you can walk by, and if you try to punch them, which I think is a great detail, if you try to hit them, Spider-Man will just be like, or, you know, he'll do a little Spider-Man thing, and sometimes people will walk up to you, and you can put a triangle on their head, and Spider-Man will high-five them, and they'll say, awesome, you saved my daughter, or whatever, in this one thing, it just makes you, makes you feel oh. amazing. <laughs> and some people will just tell you, like you click triangle on them expecting a high five and they say, Spider-Man, look, I saw these people back there that got guns, you know, I'm a little worried. And Spider-Man's like, okay, I'm on it. And you go, okay, I mean, fuck, I gotta go see yeah, what, all right, I'm I, doing I, yeah, stuff. I gotta okay, see what they're go. talking about. You know, I'm not gonna let these people with guns be around all these civilians. Like you feel like you need to, you feel like it, man. Let's talk about uh, the villains a little bit. Well, not to get into too many story details, but if you've watched the trailers, you'll know that Mr. Negative, which is uh, Martin Lee, he hasn't really been seen in a Spider-Man story, like, on a screen. So many other villains in there. 
In the trailer, you see the Scorpion, Rhino, Electro, you know, and then there's Mr. Negative, and Shocker's in this, you fight him pretty early on. Fisk is in this, and he's really cool. He's what gets you into this game. This game just gets going. An older villain, I remember from the old cartoons and my childhood I used to have a toy. I'm not gonna say the name, because I'll let it be surprising, but yeah. the, I like how they just throw in extra people here. Yeah. And there. A lot of the side missions have villains that aren't really in too many Spider-Man games, which I think is really cool. One of them is, and it's still great to see him or her mm -hmm. as a villain, and you're doing missions, you know, for this person. And I think that goes like a part of like the little details. Mm -hmm. And some of the villains are huge secrets, and they become, you know, giant like sticks up your ass in this mm -hmm. game. As you're running up a building. Mm -hmm. Right before you hit the top, if you hit X, Spider-Man will web the top and front flip slingshot himself over the building. Same thing if you're running on the side of a building and want to quickly turn to the right. As soon as you hit the end, Spider-Man will swing himself over through the side. Also, fire escapes. You see a fire escape and you're like, mm, I should probably run next to that. No, you can run straight up the fire escapes. He will use his webs and like put his feet on each one of the fire escapes as he goes up. Like, these little things are just, you know, it's what makes Spider-Man Spider-Man. <laughs> the combat in this game, I'm gonna go into that a little bit, it's pretty awesome. They took, you know, the Batman combat of hit, hit, dodge to a whole new level. Because other Spider-Man games have done this. You know, a lot of people haven't really talked about that. They're like, oh, this, this game, you know, takes Batman's game and builds upon it. Like, yeah, so did all the other Spider-Man games. They use the same combat. You hit, hit, dodge. click, dodge, and that's it. But this, no, it's made by Insomniac, so you've got tools, you've got gadgets that Spider-Man can use. And at first, when I saw that in the trailers, I honestly was, and I was like, man, get out of my Spider-Man. Yeah, I was like, I, I'm not a fan of gadgets if I'm gonna be someone like Spider-Man. Batman, I get it. He relies on gadgets or he's gonna get his ass yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's but just It looks like the way they used it, and from what I've seen, is that his gadgets are really just his abilities, like in a way, like a kind spider of. bomb or yeah. Like a, They're you know, like if you've watched Homecoming, the movie, the Marvel movie. He's got all these settings in his new suit that start to put it, and you know he had you know electric web yeah. or you know web bomb or all these sorts of things. That's what he's got here. So it kind of seems like if you wear the Homecoming suit, this game feels like. <laughs> well, this game is kind of like. If Peter Parker from the Marvel Universe was like 20-something years old and has completely mastered that suit, mm -hmm. that Stark gave him, because yeah. in the movie, you know, he's like, what, what are all these gadgets? Oh my Go back to the original My hands web. are all sticky, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and in this game, once you master them yourself, because it takes some time to get used to. You get the tripwire, and I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to use this. I'm not going to use the tripwire. You know, it's too much work. I have to put it down, lure somebody over there, hope they walk over there. Yeah. And like the web bomb, I'm like, I'll just use my normal webs. You know? Like, I don't really need this. But once you get the flow of using these during battle, because you can switch pretty quick. Hold down L1, it's got a circle thing, kind of like Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. And you just choose one super quick, you get to know what you like. And some of these are just, it makes combat really fun. And necessary sometimes, because this game isn't easy. Mm -hmm. I've seen some people say that this game is too easy. I don't know what difficulty they're playing on. If they're playing on normal and they think it's too easy, then fucking turn on hard. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> don't complain. Yeah. This game's not that easy. I've played a lot of video games, and I died a few times playing this game. The combat's not super easy until you really get used to it and upgrade all your gadgets to the fullest. You know, mm -hmm. Don't ignore them. About how long do you think into the game before you get really comfortable with it? Well, I think for the swinging, a lot of people said you need to get used to that. Mm -hmm. I got used to that pretty quick, probably within the first like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I think after about halfway through the game, I got pretty comfortable with my tools. Mm -hmm. And I think not even until almost the very end of the game where I really felt... <laughs> where I really just became Spider-Man. You know, th these gadgets were like my own. <laughs> yeah. I was fighting these enemies. Like, the combat's so cool. You can do combos. Knock somebody into the air, jump up, hit them, you can slam them back into the ground, switch 
to one of your gadgets and web bomb the dude under you, pick him up, swing him around, hit so somebody else. sounds like that would increase the replay value. It right? does. Because by the time you get to the end and you master everything, now you're going to want to go through the beginning knowing what you're doing fully. And exactly. Fully. And I think they do have a new game plus kind of thing where you can keep all your gadgets. And that might be really fun. I still haven't 100%ed this game. The game's pretty, it's not long, but it's long enough yeah. to where I felt satisfied. I didn't feel cheated out of the hype. I thought that it was it was a good length. I still beat it in a couple days because I played it non-stop pretty much. Yeah. But I do want to play through this again once I 100%ed it. So tell me a little more about the story. Okay. Well, without you know going into spoilers, you play as Peter Parker and Spider-Man and Mary Jane. That's not really a spoiler, that's in the you know trailers also. And there's also another character you get to play as. I'm not gonna tell you who, you get to play as them too. And this is actually where I'm gonna go into what I didn't like about the game. That's how I'm gonna transition this. <laughs> and there's not many things I didn't like about the game, but, and it's not really to do with the story, but it's who you get to play, play as. I love playing as Spider-Man. And even when I switched to Peter Parker, I was interested because you're going to see Aunt May or Mary Jane, you're getting to know Peter's life. And that's half of Spider-Man, you know, the yeah. movies. You gotta see Spider-Man's life, you gotta see Peter's, mm -hmm. you gotta know how they, you know, how, yeah, how they intersect and how they're a problem for each other. But playing as Mary Jane and the other character who I'm not gonna spoil, who you play as, I didn't really like playing as them. Until the end of the game, there's there's a bunch of missions where you play as Mary Jane. I'm just gonna use her, but the other character, very similar to her playstyle. And it's stealth. Stealth in video games is fine. You know, I like stealthing in the, even as Spider-Man, you have to stealth in some parts. The difference is Spider-Man can beat these people. Mm -hmm. You stealth and you stealth kill them or stealth wrap them up in webs. No. But as Mary Jane, you can't do that. You have to distract them with like boxes that you shove over and then sit there wait for somebody to walk away and kind of run past them and then wait again and you know it, it slows down the pace of the game it goes from you swinging through the city as fast as you possibly can traversing through these you know buildings fighting a bunch of bad guys and then all of a sudden you gotta wait for people to walk by so you can sneak past them slowly I don't want to do that they also give you a taser which give that to me from the very start as Mary Jane she can have a taser she can buy one I mean, she finds one later on, but she can buy a fucking taser. If or she's anything. Gonna, give her anything. Give anything. her a stick. Yeah, give yeah. her a stick. A brick. If she's that gonna, if cool. she's gonna sneak into these highly secure areas mm -hmm. without any sort of like means of defending herself, mm -hmm. I don't know. Later on, you know, they become fun, but only for the last <coughs> two missions you play as her. Overall, what would you rate Spider-Man? Okay, so this is true. <laughs> <laughs> because in my prediction video, in our prediction video, I said. That Batman Arkham Knight to me was a 6 out of 6. Look a little too quick, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I wasn't paying attention to what I really disliked about that game because I hadn't played it in a while. This game, Spider Man, isn't perfect. It's not perfect, but it's exactly what I wanted, pretty much. Just take out the Mary Jane stuff, this is exactly what I wanted from this game. So, I think I would take Batman's rating down, and I would take that to like either a 4.9 <laughs> or even like a 5 out of 6. Okay. And I would say Spider-Man is about a 5 out of 6, 5 and a half out of 6. I would say. Okay. Or if you want to rate it by 10, I would straight up go with like 9 out of 6. Because there is this like point of things that I, I dislike. The research missions that I mentioned before that are pretty interesting, I didn't feel myself wanting to do them because they take a pretty long time. I mean, long enough to where I don't want to stop in my tracks and do them. <laughs> so I waited yeah. till the end of the game to do them. I shouldn't want to wait till the end of the game, yeah. but I did. Also, Mary Jane stuff, other character, stealth thing I'm not really into. Other than that, I thought the game was awesome. If you have a PS4 and don't have this game, I mean, yeah, I can't think of what, what bigger game to get right now, yeah. other than Spider-Man. Yeah. You know? I mean, game. what better way to spit an Xbox face? <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. want to be that guy, but when you've got a PS4, yeah. and other people have got an Xbox, you can go out and buy this game and be mm -hmm. like, 
<laughs> like, <laughs> like got it. hey, look what I'm playing. Mm -hmm. You can't. Mm -hmm. This game's fucking great. <laughs> they're like, well, we got Sea of Thieves. <laughs> uh, we got Forza and Sea yeah. of Thieves. Ooh. We got the Lego mm -hmm. Marvel game we can play no. as Spider-Man. There you go. That's something. Nope, won't do it. Well, last week we asked you, what did you guys think that we would rate Spider-Man? Or what, what would even you rate it, maybe? I don't know. But, so, what you said was 33% said it was going to be 6 out of 6. 33% said 5 out of 6. 16% said 4 out of 6. 0% said 3 out of 6 or lower. 16% also said, what a weird rating system. <laughs> like, like I said, you can do 5.5, yeah. 9 out of 10, <laughs> whatever you want to think about it. Here's perfect, yeah. and then here's Joe's, where Joe's rated it. Exactly. This is the top notch, nothing gets better than that. Mm -hmm. Spider-Man's right about here. Mm -hmm. It's all this little gray area. Yeah. So if like, Joe's rating was this, Spider-Man would be like there you go. this. Confusing the people. <laughs> <laughs> and our other, our other poll was, which villain are you most excited for? And let's see. Don't say Mr. Negative was, Mr. Negative won at 60% of the votes. 20% had Silver Sable. The other 20, another 20% had uh, King, Kingpin. I don't know why I can read that. Kingsman. <laughs> Kingsman. The Kingsman. Kingpin and Taskmaster. Again, Master. another spoiler. <laughs> What's that a spoiler? Nobody knows it's in the game. Really? Until you do a side mission. Oh. <laughs> Same thing with Black Cat, you don't know if it's in the game. You well, didn't even whatever. mention the ones that are said, like Scorpion <laughs> and Vulture. <laughs> All the other ones that were listed, nobody voted for. So, the, the point is, Mr. Negative was the most, that most people were excited yeah. about. But yeah. He, he was good. Yeah. So. He was cool. Okay, so now we're going to go into the spoiler section, so... If you don't want any spoiler, I can't talk. So if you don't want any spoilers, stop watching here. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna talk about you know yeah spoilers and Spider-Man. Just some things that I wanted to to mention. So the other character that I said I didn't like playing as was Miles Morales. You know I knew he was in this game. A lot of people were like, oh I wonder if he's gonna be playable. He is. He's just like Mary Jane. He does the same shit. He sneak around as him. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Which Doesn't sucked. Sound very funny. Yeah, which sucked because then I didn't want to play as Miles Morales. Mm, and that should be somebody you're excited for. That should be exactly. like, fuck it, yeah. oh, Miles Morales? Like, yeah. ooh, okay, he's gonna do some shit. And exactly. then not just. No. He sneaks around, funny. he also works at the same homeless shelter that Mary, uh, not Mary Jane, that M. Aunt May? That Aunt May works at. He works at the same homeless shelter later on mm -hmm. in the game. So it's not an origin story for Peter Parker. It's an origin story for Miles Morales. <laughs> That's kind of what this game is. Not at its core, but it's yeah. in there. Miles Morales' dad gets taken from him in a bomb. In a bomb? In a bomb. He gets inside a bomb, mm -hmm. he blows himself up. No. He's at an event accepting mm -hmm. a medal for himself, and Mr. Negative comes and <laughs> blows him up. Isn't that how they introduce Black Panther? His dad just dies in an explosion <laughs> in another story, and then... Yes. That's fine. Mm -hmm. The Avengers Tower, the Sanctum Sanctorum mm -hmm. from uh, Doctor Strange, all of everything from Daredevil and Luke Cage mm -hmm. and Jessica Jones, all the places from their stories are all in here. It makes so, sense. I mean, yeah. they should be running into each other. <laughs> and he mentions stuff from it. And you have to go take pictures of it. Like, it's a side mission. That's cool. But yeah, Miles Morales. <laughs> it's an origin story for him. His dad dies. He works at this homeless shelter. And then... Bit by a radioactive spider, which thank God. <laughs> but like, you don't get to play as him as Spider Man. But he gets bit by a radioactive spider. They tease that MJ is gonna get bit. No. She sneaks into Osborne, whatever. Spider calls on her. Doesn't bite her. She doesn't like her. <laughs> and then bites Miles Morales. It wants him. And there's a really cool scene at the end of the game once you beat it. And it's Miles helping Peter move into his. Like college? I think he's in college. I thought it was just an apartment, but I went back and watched the scene. He's wearing a college shirt. I guess he's finally, you know, going to college. But he's helping him get into his dorm, and he's like, Look, Peter, I gotta tell you something that I can't tell my mom. And Peter's like, Whoa, don't show me your dick, dude. And he jumps on the ceiling, and he's like, I'm Spider-Man, sort of. And then Peter Parker... I'm the man spider. 
Peter Parker goes, whoa, that's not that impressive because I can do it too, and jumps onto the ceiling and they have a cool like moment where they stare at each other for a while. And I think that's great because it gets me super hyped for the next game. Also, Harry Osborn is in a think tank and is Venom. That's, that's crazy. That's a twist. Yeah. Not, uh, what's his face? Eddie? Yeah, not Eddie Brock this time. It's Harry Osborn who's going to be Venom. Awesome. I, I hope the next game is Spider-Man and other Spider-Man versus Venom. I think that'd be great. Yeah, and Venom maybe throw in Carnage. Yeah. I feel like where, where there's Venom, there's got to be Carnage somewhere around the corner. Maybe one of them fights Carnage, one of them yeah. fights Venom. Might be a cool thing. Also, yeah. Peter Parker and MJ aren't in a relationship in this game. I thought that was cool. They got out of a relationship. Out of yeah. a relationship. Yeah, because this is advanced Peter Parker. You know, yeah. he's not just because he's not still a um, high school student. Yeah, he's, he's twenty three. An adult. In this game. Yeah. He's been Spider Man for eight years. So him and MJ have this little camaraderie. It, it, it's it's nice. They keep calling themselves partners, mm -hmm. and they're referring to work, but like mm -hmm. not really. Yeah. <laughs> and you just want to see them get together, kind of like you're watching any sort of you know, teenage whatever, drama, movie, mm -hmm. or something. You want to see these two get together. You figure they're going to. They do at the end. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Also, other big spoiler, Doc Ock's the main villain. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Spider-Man 2. Yeah. Half the game, it's Mr. Negative. He gets put in jail. He gets broken out of jail. And you're like, whoa, who broke out all of my villains? It's Doc Ock. You helped him make these arms because he was an inspiration to you. You work for the guy. You're helping him make the, these arms and this thing that goes on his head, the yeah. microchip just straight from Spider-Man <coughs> 2. And he appears at the prison and he's like, ha, Sinister Six, bitch. Yeah. And then you fight the Sinister Six. It's pretty cool. They take over the city in different like, quadrants. You fight Electro and Vulture at the same time on one side of the city, Rhino and Scorpion on the other side. And then you don't quite beat Scorpion that time, so you gotta fight him again, you know, somewhere else. Or no, that happens first. You fight Scorpion by himself, don't beat him. Fight him with Rhino, beat him. And then you go and fight Mr. Negative, beat him, and then the final boss is Doc Ock. His fight was really cool. You're up on Osborn, Oscorp, Oscorp's tower, and you're fighting Doc Ock. I don't know if this is how you beat him in Spider-Man 2, but probably. You just web him up. <laughs> <laughs> you dodge his attacks, you web him up, you click triangle, and you hit him a bunch. And you do that a lot. And then you fight him on the side of the building. And they have a really cool scene where he, he threatens you. There's some good writing in this game. Not, there's yeah. some good writing in this game. Not amazing writing, but it's good. You know, it's yeah. like basic... It's better than the nun. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Doc Ock is trying to convince Peter to help him out. He's like, yeah, Peter, you're right, you know? The chip was messing up my head. Just help me. We can we can make these arms better. Do what they were intended to do. And Peter's like trying to think about it, but he really doesn't want to. Yeah. And he's like, you can help me and you can rest easy knowing that your secret will be safe. Because <laughs> he knows he's, yeah. he's Peter Parker. And he looks at him and he's like, you do what you need to do. <laughs> it's all any of us can do. He's like, Peter, you know, yelling at him. I was like, see, it's good that he's... Even though he could get a secret yeah. told to the world. It's like, fuck off, you tried to kill me. Also, Aunt May dies. <laughs> Rest in peace, Aunt May. You weren't able to save her. She dies at the end. Pretty emotional uh, for a video game. I mean, other... Well, not, I shouldn't say for a video should have For a Spider-Man video game. Yeah. For a superhero game. One thing, any Spider-Man story has always had sad undertones. Mm -hmm. And then the way you described it, it sounds kind of like the ending of Last of Us, right? Where yeah. you have a tough decision. You have a dilemma. Yeah. Which is what the great stories all have. Spider-Man chooses the opposite of what Joel chooses yeah. in The Last of Us. <laughs> but it's, mm -hmm. it's still, you know, it's the choice that Spider-Man would have made. Yeah. And in Last of Us, it's the choice that Joel, Joel would have made. made. Yeah, yeah exactly. and it's no, exactly... It totally makes sense in both yeah. situations. And that's good. It's a good thing. I feel like if Peter would have chose Aunt May, it would have been out of character, even though I feel like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Save Aunt May <laughs> instead of the rest of New York. But it makes sense for Spider-Man to be like, I just, I have to save New York. It's who I am. I'm a damn superhero. Also, I'm going to mention the song for a second, the theme of this game. I think it sounds really awesome. A lot of people are, you know, praising this theme. I don't know who composed it, but it sounds like 
the Sam Raimi Spider-Man theme from the first three movies mixed with Marvel's Homecoming theme. Mm. I think that's a great mix. Yeah. <laughs> Both of those songs intertwining as you're swinging through the city. I mean, that's just pretty cool. Yeah. Also, Taskmaster's in the game, so is Black Cat. You don't get to see Black Cat because of the DLC coming out. Yeah. yeah. Get to do our missions out here, boys. That, that's it for the for the spoilers. You know, the, the game's really cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're watching this, you already have had played the game, hopefully. Hopefully you didn't watch yeah. this part without playing the game, but you know, I hope you agree with me. The game's awesome. Alright.